people don't know that live on back streets man i got my nigga we live man we out here by the stead if y'all know, y'all know, man, Pine Village, man. Shout out to the whole motherfucker Pine Village. But we got my nigga Lil Ronzel on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. Let everybody know who the fuck you is, where you from, and what you got coming, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's Lil Ronzel tapping in, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck going on. We live in Pine Village, right in the trenches. Yeah. Right off the back street off Homestead, right hey. by Riverwood, down the street from the mountain, down the street from Havistock. Okay. This is real deal. Real shit, man. Man, for people that don't know, man, how did you get your start fucking with this music? Really, I just, I've been fucking with that shit for so long, growing up, listening to Mike Jones, Paul Wall. Okay. You know, a nigga just really just always gravitated toward that music shit, because I always just fuck with the sound, you know, so it's just shit organic, you know. Who, who was like some of your favorites? You know, I used to just, growing up, I used to be listening to the little freestyle tapes by motherfucking 50 50 Little Twin. Okay. Me, yeah. You know, Slim Thug. Nowadays, I listen to everybody. I ain't gonna lie. You fuck with everybody? I support all the artists, anybody doing what I'm doing. Okay. You know, ain't no, no hate shit. I feel it. Speaking of support, you been you from the city, born and raised, right? A-Town? Yeah. Do you feel like you get the support as for, for the artists? As to being an artist from the city? Uh, really, I wasn't really taking this shit serious. Okay. So, you know, but I, I got some support. You know, everybody fuck with me. You know? Okay. Okay, man. Do you remember your first project you put out? First project I put out probably be All uh, Hustle No Play. Okay. I did some shit in All Hustle No Play. I got a little DJ out in Chicago. Hustle No Play. That's DJ. What was the name of DJ? DJ Sean Chicago. Okay. How did you meet uh, DJ Sean? Cause you got him on the uh, the other one you was telling me about. Yeah, motherfucker. Basically, I got family like in Iowa. Matter of fact, to correct you, I was born in Iowa. Iowa? Yeah, but I, I, I moved wow. out here when I was a baby. Damn, Iowa. This morning's yeah. Iowa. Yeah. Damn, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't even think it's really niggas up in Iowa, man. Yeah. That's crazy. I moved down here when I was literally still a baby. Okay. We were raised down here. Johns Elementary, Hambrick, Back Park, the Eskimini. Oh, you straight all day, man. Shout out to yeah. everybody. Mac yeah. the Generals and all that type shit. I feel that, man. Yeah. For real, for real. Any advice to the artists in the city that's watching? You want to keep it real. Keep that shit real. The key to this shit is networking. And you got to do marketing and promotion. You got to put some money in that shit. Nigga don't want to spend no money. Why is that, man? Why niggas don't want to spend no money when most niggas be walking around here with bankrolls and flash and go jugging and all that shit? Why niggas don't want to spend money on they fucking career? That's what I want to know. You an artist, you been thug and you been locked up, but you see the shit from another view and you know artists don't want to invest. Why you think Why you think that? To keep that shit a band, it's like, if you new to that shit, you don't really trust a motherfucker, so you might think a motherfucker finesse you out your motherfucking bread. You might had a bad experience, nigga, janky promoters, just niggas be on some rude shit, so it's like, if you ain't got no solid connection, you ain't just gonna really just lock in with that shit. You gonna be like, yeah, that's some fuck shit. I don't even wanna yeah. get in my money because you gonna feel like you wasting your money. I feel it, feel it, I feel it. What it was like for you coming up, you told me, man, you was here, there, man, in the schools and shit, but what it was like what coming up in Houston, what it was like for you? Shit, same shit. Different day, okay. Yeah, slap boxing and shit, get your paper, you know, just, same shit. Bullshit, doing, doing, doing crime. Okay. Just bu do bullshit. Bullshit, okay. Yeah, you know. Nigga trying to stay out the way, though. Okay. You know. What's the, okay, you staying out the way, not giving too much, it's just on, you know, the cases and shit. What are you trying to do different that you wasn't doing at first that got you kind of jammed up and in the way? Really fucking with niggas, bro. Like, okay. I, like, I was, ain't gonna lie, I used to be real, I used to be real. I ain't gonna lie, I used to be friendly back in the day, fucking with niggas. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I you know, understand that. You know, it just, nah, don't get me wrong, though, nigga ain't friendly. It's like, but if I know the motherfucker yeah. for a long time, I'm gonna try to look out for you. Mm -hmm. And you never know, like, a motherfucker throw you under the bus, and they ain't gonna say they self. At the end of the day, so you gotta man. be real careful who you got around you, you know? Man. Real talk. Man, is it dangerous being a rapper, being that so many rappers die so quickly nowadays? It depends what type of rapper you is. Uh oh, you know, like, okay. Like if you talking that street shit, I mean you in a way, you gonna get what energy you put out. So it's like if you focus on straight music, you probably be straight, bro, but you gotta be serious about this okay. shit. You know? Focus on straight music and having an in image, won't niggas still try you or it just depends on okay. if you got some solid niggas behind you, you know, you ain't no dirty ass nigga, no grimy nigga. 
we probably be straight, you ain't no fuck nigga, you know what I'm True saying? that. You guys just pack fell. True that, true that. Did COVID fuck up anything as far as music or any, it hit you? I ain't gonna lie, they did prolong a nigga stay in the feds. <laughs> okay. They had a quarantine. Real pushed, shit. Pushed a nigga day back. For shit show. Nigga lost like 10 pounds, no commissary <laughs> trucks coming, or, you know. Yeah. Nigga ain't eating how he was eating, you know. Just, you know, but everybody healthy, though. God, God is good. Shit, so and so you was locked up when it, the shit hit? Yeah, yeah. I just, I Ooh. Was Damn. Well, so when they hit down that, because I know that's probably no offense, but worse being like that with a bunch of unclean people and, you know, shit like that. So what was your whole thoughts? Did you think you was going to catch anything or die? I don't lie. I, me, to, to keep real, it was affecting, affecting more people who was motherfucking like older. Okay. Or people who already had health conditions already. You know, people who got a little extra weight on them, way, working out, gotcha. and healthy. That's what really was getting fucked over. So, you know. But Dang. still, though, they, a young nigga can get taken out, though. They said mm -hmm. you smoking a lot. Uh, so, for real. you just got to be careful. Man, for real, for real. Backstreet shit, man. On the most serious note, what was your whole take on the George Floyd situation? I don't like that. That shit really was just. That shit fucked up, bro. That shit. That shit really heartbreaking. You know, riding and shit inside. That shit really fucked up, especially somebody being from the city. Yeah. It was riding inside the prison? Yeah, yeah they wouldn't Dang. let us watch TV because they knew. No motherfuckers riding, but we still calling and tapping in, so we know what's going on. Bro. Damn. You know, Damn. Damn. Nigga really, nigga really had to hear that shit because mm. not, 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 not. It, that was just the straw that broke the camel back. The yeah. This shit been going on for years. My grandma, yeah. she from Louisiana, right mm. outside Shreveport, Logan's boy. She done pick cotton and then beat up, beat up her brother, 80, walk into the store, old ass man. Damn. Burn, burn my great grandma house down. Just a glimpse of shit that go on that y'all don't think go on, man. Little Runzel Backstreet shit, man. Give somebody, man, what is like a whole 24 hours. You did three, but what is like this a day in the feds behind the bars just being on lock for yourself? You know, they got a, you know, they got they got the Mexican versus black shit, the standoff, the Texas versus Louisiana the shit. They got a, you know, but you was that shit, to, shit still go down? Yeah, that shit still go down. They got niggas with knives and shit, big ass swords. Damn. They got motherfucking, you know, niggas stealing from each other. Niggas trying to, niggas, they got cell phones in their bitch, you know. How did you maintain? Like, come out, you look damn good, brother. You shit, you know where you want to go. You got to yeah. get yourself together. You know that shit. Yeah. That shit easier said than done. But how did you develop that mind frame where some niggas, no, no offense, they'll be back on the same shit? Well, really, that, that music, I already know. Everybody okay. been telling me. Yeah. Nigga been doing that shit for so long. So it's like a nigga, nigga got some, might as well put the work in and grind. Mm -hmm. you know, just, just keep it real, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas, they, they don't be keeping it real, man. The music, though, focusing on that, though, we talked about a lot of shit. What's niggas next as far as your plans for the music? You know, I got a little mixtape on the way, trap melodies. Trap melodies, okay. I got an R&B tape I'm finna do. And I've been fucking with some pop shit. I just been experimenting, doing everything. Might as well. Keep it real. I'm up trying to get some money. Is that that rap shit cool? But like you said, that pop. That's what a bag is for real. For real. I tell yeah. people I want to interview a pop artist. <laughs> shit, I already know that shit gonna skyrocket. Do you got any collabos? Anybody that you working with in the future or that you want to work with? You know, it's some, it's, it's some. I got some young niggas. I fuck with my nigga, little LTMBJ. I fuck with for little, shit show. Little Rashard Miller. Rashawn Miller for shit show, man. Backstreet alumni, both of them niggas, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I, fuck, with, I fuck with some DJs out here. DJ First Class, DJ Shawnee Boy in the strip club. Yeah, Yo, you know. Okay. I fuck, I fuck with a bunch of motherfuckers, bro. I, I support all the artists. Like I said, you grind, you doing something I want to do. You know, Jeremy going crazy right now. Man. She, I like, I like OMB Blood Bad. Yo. I was freestyling on her live the other day. Yeah. The halfway house. Ah. She was giving out the slot to the motherfucking yeah. festival. You know, I just. Showed I'm in the halfway house, but I'm trying to rap. Fuck it. Fuck it. You know? Damn, you transparent, bro. What made you not be afraid to just live in your truth? Shit, you in the halfway house, nigga. I'm, shit, you, like I say, you told me I'm on a monitor, but shit, I do the interview, you come to me. What make you be so honest when a nigga, bro, I'd have been doing this shit two years, and a nigga that capped and, oh, I did this and that, I come now and they got a whole bunch of other shit going on. But what make you just be so transparent about yourself and what you got going on? You keep that shit real, it's just like, if you faking that motherfucker gonna know. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, you just true, you true. gotta do you. I didn't, I didn't did the, the guns and shit. I didn't right. did all that in the videos. Right. You, you could do that shit, yeah. but 
You know, once some cases start coming, you ain't gonna wanna do that time. Come on, bro. I be telling my niggas from inside the feds, you don't wanna Talk be in the little... boss. <laughs> man, it's it's only so much like we can say, hey man, you don't wanna go to jail, you don't wanna do this, and then like a nigga feel like they gotta do it and go through that shit. I'm like, bro, everybody don't gotta have that prison and fed story, nigga. It's niggas like you could do this music shit and show a nigga another way. Like H Town music scene, you know, are you proud of the city? Do we got work to do? Everybody rocking? What's your whole thoughts? Yeah, everybody grinding, but I feel like you gotta just be you. Mm -hmm. Don't be trying to be nobody else. Make your own sound. Be you. Y'all hear that shit back streets? Be you. Yeah, like you ain't doing nothing wrong being yourself. Man. You gotta, the more you do that shit, the better you gonna get. Big you facts. You gotta just keep going. Keep going, keep grinding. You know, I ain't like my uncles used to be like, that shit whack. You know? Then that, then I'll come back in. All right, that shit, that shit all right. Your then, own then, uncle. Then now they be like, man, that shit jamming. You gotta, you just. You gotta just, try, try man. different shit, try different shit. And you gotta be able to take, I, I, maybe your uncle did tell you that discouraged you, but you gotta be able to take what niggas telling you and be like, okay, let me go tighten up a little bit. Yeah, use and, that shit as motivation. To for go real, on, man. Bro, bro. <laughs> I'm on the pack streets, for real, for real, man. Do you have any last minute shout outs? I know we've been rolling a little bit. Any last minute shout outs? I hate to leave the people that you fuck with out on the back streets. Yeah, just shout out to everybody in the city. Everybody going crazy, bro. I've been hearing all these motherfuckers. Little peso. Peso, everybody peso, okay. Crazy, Travis Scott. Everybody, and, and if you gonna do the rap shit, just do you, my nigga, grind. Mm -hmm. And don't live about this shit. For real, for real. Would you sign it? Would you keep it all the way independent? Really, the money and independent to keep it really got United Masters, Distro Kid. Mm -hmm. But you gotta have a foundation. But you got. To make some money. There but. we go. Cause then I'm gonna say I'm just gonna speak on that a little bit. Cause anybody, oh, I'm on Spotify, I'm on United Masters, nigga. You probably got three, four niggas set that shit up for you. You not doing that yourself. I tell niggas build a team. Fuck with the bloggers. Fuck with these DJs. Fuck with the niggas that they gotta build that shit up. Cause independent, they, people say, oh, I'm independent. I'm getting money. But yeah. shit, look how long it took Nipsey for people that really even pay yeah. attention to Nipsey. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That nigga been doing it ten years straight. That nigga was selling hundred dollar mixtapes before. The shit was heard of, so I tell niggas do shit different, man. Yeah. Northside, we live on the Northeast, man. IG is what? Let the streets know where they can tap in with you and follow you at. It's Lil Runzel on everything, you know. Oh, yeah, shout out my nigga Benito the Finesse. We got the whole city rocking the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what at home, man? Man, you know, he on the third ward. Okay, Southside. You know, okay, shout out to Troy. He, he pulled up on a nigga right when I got off the bus. Gave a nigga a unit, finesse gang, you know what it is. You know, they know what it is. Cause that's the uh, brand you uh, be yeah. rapping on the page, hold okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how long y'all been rocking? Shit, really, it, for about five, six years, you know. When I had a mutual little partner I was fucking, I been fucking with, still fuck with, he introduced us. And ever since then, it's been love. I feel it. Single, married, complicated? Single right now. Single. You know? Okay, women, he's single, so. Yeah. You yeah, know, y'all see? You know? <laughs> tap you in. Know? What was the last meal you ate? See, like my family just came over the other day, cooked the niggas some fried shrimp, lobster tail, cabbage. Okay, you, know. you ate pretty good. Yeah. The last song you listened to? The last song I listened to was Trapping and Killing Peso Peso. Okay. That motherfucker going crazy. Okay. That bitch going crazy. Trap, okay, I feel it. And how did you get your name? See, I'm, I'm the second. Okay, you know? okay. Old man, yeah. the first? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Rosier Williams, you know, so I'm the second. And you just took that and said, I'm going to make this shit my rap name? Or? Yeah, yeah okay. everybody knows. Oh, that's Lil Rozelle. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no what's going on. Okay, okay. You know. The career, man, you home, bro. You want to do the shit the right way. Where do you see it in the next three years as far as the music shit in your whole brand? I see some taking off, goddamn. I'm finna do some features with some niggas. That goddamn, I okay. You know, I got some niggas who been connected. You know, they 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 gonna middle man me to some niggas. We gonna see what they talking about. You know, I ain't gonna put it out there yet. Don't put it out there, no, man. But. God is working, man. He got yeah. purpose for you, bro. And I'm pushing for you, man. Backstreet shit. Like I say, man, the sky is the motherfucking limit beyond that yeah, bitch. I ain't yeah. gonna even lie to you, bro. Yeah. But shit, plug that YouTube. I know you already did, but I had extra another. Yeah, we way. pulling up. You know, y'all pull up on me. You know, <laughs> nigga ain't doing no tripping, nigga. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. He ain't doing no capping. Real nigga, man, you know, pulled up. I can't go nowhere right now. I'm on anchor monitor. So shit, y'all. A lot of